Yo, gang. So yesterday, um, I started actually watching FBG Young on Vlad interview. Uh, that's what's up that he on Vlad. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but this part five, and since I've been watching one through four, I'm like, man, let me just check out a clip with the game and shit like that. Um, what I can say about this interview is two things. Um, for one, I'm not gonna lie. For some reason, it it seems like an interrogation, like he in an interrogation room. For some reason, I don't know. And uh, especially if you've seen the one where he say, uh, "Do you know who shot you?" When the police came to do tell him, or just you know what I'm saying, just and then he asked him about two situations of the shoot. Do you know who shot him? That shit. Was do you think it was meant for you? You know, he was asking all that shit. But um, and two, this is one of the videos. Here. One interview with Vlad so far has not been over talking. He asks his question and he let Young say what he want to say. He don't try and wrestle, at least not yet. At least not yet. I ain't seen it through one through four. I'm like, damn, look at Vlad sitting back being quiet. You know? Um, but I guess when it's just certain and, and Young knew, so they talking, he trying to get the norm and shit. But yeah, um, it's Thursday. Hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all doing great. Hope y'all pockets is straight. We talking about KI. He don't think uh he don't young don't think KI killed nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna do too much more talking. Let's get into it and see what's to it. Tuka gets killed and KI took it really personally. That's what they say on the internet. That's what they say. Yeah. Is that true? I mean, it can, it can be. All of us took it very personal. It's our first loss. Well, and, and this is where sort of the, the mystery behind KI starts. Yeah. They say that Odie Perry got killed by her in revenge for Tuka's death. You know who said that? The internet. The internet. <laughs> yeah. At this point, no one will know if it's true or not. Hey, now the one where uh, he asked him, he asked folks uh, about him and, and JoJo getting jumped or some shit like that. He asked who asked that. Vlad is going to say some trenches news. You know, trenches news, they tell you that shit, Vlad. He, he said, and you know, told us that, nah, Butter said that shit. Be the internet. The internet. <laughs> yeah. At this point, no one will know if it's true or not. Because all, all the players, you're saying that's not true. Yeah, that ain't true. Okay, how do you know it's not true? I just know that's not true. So did you have conversations with her about that? No. Okay. And she's gone by this point. So it's not like we're snitching on anyone or anything else like yeah. that. Every, everyone's gone in this situation. Um, because there is a lot of mystery around her. They say that she allegedly killed up to 20 people. Damn. That's aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> you asked me that. I'm not laughing at the deaths and shit. Uh, that's just fucking crazy though. But uh, this nigga said that shit aggressive. She got, <laughs> my fucking got on that bully. That shit is real. Twenty people. That's aggressive. Yeah. You asking me if that's true or not? It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> no, nah, I don't. No, nah, it's not true. I don't do you, think it's do true. Do you think that she killed anybody? No. Nah. Really? Yeah. So this whole. You know, the female assassin of Oblock, you're saying it's all just fairy tales. I don't believe none of these dudes killed nobody. Okay. Well, she's not a dude. She's a female. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You see, though, had if it just seemed a little like folks in that room. Okay. So you don't think, but, but I feel like she was playing up that image while she was alive, right? Yeah. She, I feel like she was, um, she was just feeding off. See, uh, Lil J had a thing where he was calling Butter and Ki the, the twin that made O Block. So she was just feeding off that that clout. Just kept running with it. Right. Well, what was her Twitter name at that time? At that time, I don't remember. Was it like something assassin uh, yeah, or female assassin? I think yeah, so. it was something like that. So Taekwondo assassin. Taekwondo assassin. assassin. Yeah. There we go. Taekwondo assassin. Yeah. So it's not like she was saying, "Oh no, this isn't true." I'm just a regular, regular person. Yeah, but you got to think about the time, but the time. 
that's when everything really popped off. So everybody was trying to get what they can out. To- well, uh, then in 2014, she gets killed. Yeah. Uh, Butter was there. He gets shot. Yeah. When you found out about that death, how did it affect you? I was there. I was like down the street. Oh, you were down the street? Yeah. So you heard the gunshots? Yeah. And then I ran, ran down there. So you saw her when she was still alive? Yeah. Okay, did you try to talk to her or anything? No, nah, the police was there at the time. They wouldn't let us get too close. Okay, so you show up to the shooting scene. Police had got it taped off. They was trying to, they was, at that time, they was... What y'all think, though? I mean, to me personally, I think she was catching bodies. Like, uh, Young, he, he, he keeping it solid after death. He don't give a damn. He ain't goddamn talking about shit, bruh. But 20 is crazy, bro. It's crazy. He actually is the first person, I believe, to say like this, she wasn't smoking shit, bruh. Scene, police had got it taped off. They was trying to, they was, at that time, they was about to tape it off. So they They're was really just like pushing people back. Okay. Because from what I understand, she was still alive. It's yeah. not like she died instantly. She was still alive. Yeah. I think by the time the ambulance came, I think she passed shortly afterwards. Yeah, she was still sitting on the porch. Right. Yeah. Did you see Butter there as well? Yeah, I had bumped into Butter as we running down there. He was running towards the corner. Right, because yeah, he got shot. He got in the shot leg. like a knee. Yeah, the knee. Yeah. Did he say anything as he was walking by? Or? I'm shot. I'm hit. I'm shot. Yeah. Okay. So, Butter shot. K.I. is lying there, dying. She was still sitting on the porch like this, like I'm sitting in the chest. She was still sitting up like this. Wow. Damn. But then she passes away. Yeah. I thought she was like laying down or something. That shit is crazy, bro. Okay. So now multiple people that you know are dying around you. And still you're not thinking about moving or anything else like that. I still live with my mama and my daddy at this time. Well, I, I can't move unless they moving. <laughs> Fuck you, too. Well, you were, what, 18, 19 at the time? <laughs> hey, no, that was some real shit, yo. I ain't gonna care if folks say I can't just, motherfuckers just can't up and leave, goddamn. I'm goddamn still a, a shorty around this bitch, bro. You talking about moving is crazy right now. That's the last thing I'm thinking about. We just, the thing is, bro, it's just a badass neighborhood, bro. Motherfuckers ain't thinking that far ahead in life yet. On some, let's just be serious, bro. Young was what? What he said? Maybe he probably no older than 19 and shit like that. Like, this is just a badass area, bro. And motherfuckers just don't always just up and leave. Oh, it's bad. Let's just up and leave. Just get your shit together. They asked just shot. Get your shit together. We finna go. Like, it, it don't work like that, Vlad, unfortunately, bro. He probably ain't had no money in his pocket or none of that shit. Even if he tried to leave, his mama probably be like, boy, what the fuck type shit. Or a legal system, like, I don't, well, if you're 19. But still, goddamn. It's time. Well, I can't move unless they moving. Well, you're, what, 18, 19 at the time? Yeah. You're, you're an adult. You could do whatever you want. I'm still in their house. I'm. You could get on a Greyhound. And go where? You could go well, I'm anywhere. Start it off what? Well, listen, I, I move. I don't think we, we don't do too much stuff like that. We don't. Start well, off and you get on the Greyhound, pack it all up and just see something, what's finna happen. Man, listen, you know how many people I've been- Yeah, Vlad, Vlad being a little out, not a little. He being out of touch with this shit right now, bro. Just fuck the streets, bro. Just in general, bro, you, it's just not that easy all the time, Vlad. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm <laughs> It's just not that easy to just make, to make this shit happen and- Start a new life. He had to figure out where the fuck he gonna live. Everybody, he probably, ain't no telling if he got a whip or not, I don't know. To live in a car or niggas don't even want to do little shit like that. He ain't got no friends somewhere else probably. All his friends is in the hood. Most of his families is probably in the hood. Wherever he go, he probably gonna be in the hood, bro. Fuck do you want this nigga to really get in the car and drive to fucking LA and and sleep in front of a Beverly Hills? Like, I, I don't know, bro. We, we, don't, we don't do that though. <laughs> there is no we. You got. You're not a tree. You can move. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, there's we nothing don't, keeping you in do this things scenario. like that. Pyre, Pyre go. Pyre tuck off with uh, one of the family members' crib. But like, just fresh start. Get on the Greyhound. Nah, we ain't doing that. 
Yeah, bro, I, I did that. I moved from, from the Bay Area to New York. I started all over. I was homeless, sleeping on couches. You know, I had some homies that had a club. I just DJed at their club a little bit to make, you know, a few dollars. It's probably a little different from us, though, because at the time, we probably big-headed, thinking we, we, we too known, so we don't really want to go nowhere. Really don't want to lock in with people. Yeah? I mean, it's unfortunate. All right, man, Vlad, bro. Like I just said, he just said they, they big-headed, hard-headed, fucking trench babies, savages, all type of shit. They're not even thinking ahead of the future. <laughs> they not thinking no future of getting out of this shit. They, now out of 10, them niggas thought, get back. <laughs> get back. That's all we want. Who the fuck who did this shit? Who you think did this shit? Motherfuckers gonna handle some shit, bro. They not thinking, they just not thinking like, oh man, they not even thinking better life yet, bro. Fuck the hood, we wanna get out the hood. They love the hood, bro, this shit is home. They not, they just, they just not, it's just not that easy to get up and go be homeless. Like I said, even if sometimes it's a family member, they probably in the hood too. Or when you go to the family member um, crib, they don't want you there forever. You know, you gotta go the fuck back home. You gotta go somewhere like that. I get him when niggas is, is kind of up in age and more mature and got some money and shit like that and can do that. Then I'm like, bro, why you know you didn't do it? If you if you 19, 20, you feel me? You got a bag or something. You ain't think, you don't think about moving and shit like that. But at the time, motherfuckers back outside the mall. Fuck you. Talking about? You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think though, bro. And catch me on that reaction.